in this video we will be printing this pattern in two or more ways and basic to advanced okay so we'll be using the most basic method first using two loops so just write two loops first and use a print statement here now we are going to understand and put the values in the range the value of capital A in ASCII standard is 65 and the value of capital E is 69 so remember these values first now as you can see that the outer loop is running five times so we are going to run this outer loop from 65 to 69 and we have to put one more than 69 to include 69 in it so the loop will go from 65 to one less than 70 that is 69 and in the inner loop you can see that the value of printing characters is changing in every column so in the print statement we have to use the value in the inner loop that is after converting j into a character and in the range we are going to move from 65 to i plus 1 let's understand this now when the outer loop run for the first time then in the inner loop the value in the range goes from 65 to 1 less than i plus 1 and i is 65 in the first iteration so it will go from 1 less than 65 plus 1 66 that is j will go from 65 to 65 it means the inner loop will run for once in the first iteration so it will print a after converting it into character the value of j i mean and in the second iteration when i is equal to 66 the inner loop will run from 65 to 1 less than 66 plus 1 that is 67 it means the inner loop will run from 65 to 66 that is two times and the print statement will print the values of j after converting it into character so the value of j is 65 in the first iteration that it will print a and in the second iteration it will print b and now just type a comma here and equals in the single quotes type a space so that we have a space between each of the columns press enter backspace and type the print statement so that we start from the next line after the execution of this inner loop because of this end equals single quotes we have used the print statement here and let's run it and you can see that we have the required pattern using method 1 the most simplest method now in the method 2 we are going to reduce the number of loops in the first method we had two loops and in the method 2 we are going to use just one single loop by using a string which contains all the characters a b c d e and we are going to use a for loop and enumerate in the string s and print the whole string by slicing so here we are going to slice the string make the starting value blank and in the ending value the value of i will be from 0 to 4 as we have 5 characters in it and j will be the value of each of the characters it means j will start from a b c d e and i will start from 0 to 1 2 3 and 4 so in here we have to go from the first element that is a and slice up to i plus 1 i plus 1 will not be included so i will be included so the first iteration this will print all the elements starting from the 0 index to 1 less than 0 plus 1 index that is it will print all the elements from the 0 index the zeroth index that is a in the second iteration when i is equal to 1 this will print all the elements starting from the zeroth index to 1 less than 1 plus 1 2 it means 0 to 1 th index that is it will print two elements and so on okay and now let's execute it and here you can see that we have the required pattern we just two lines and a single loop so we have decreased the four lines and two loops code into just three lines and a single loop 
and this is the only more advanced way we cannot go any further for it so we have increased the efficiency and decreased the program size so please subscribe to support pi pro tricks and that's it for now thank you for watching now it's time to discover more simply click on the screen to subscribe to our channel and watch another video to discover more